Introduction Welcome and thank you for choosing the Mission U500 Urine Analyzer. Our Mission U500 Urine Analyzer is a semi-automated reflectance photometer that analyzes the intensity and color of light reflected from the reagent areas of a urinalysis reagent strip. It has a throughput of 500 tests per hour and the measuring cycle is 7 seconds per test. It stores up to 2,000 patient records. Other features include automatic calibration, self-test capability, and touchscreen LCD for easy operation. Analyzer Components the components of Mission U500 Urine Analyzer include printer cover, strip sensor light emitting diode LED, touch screen display LCD, strip loading area, printer paper roll container, printer release lever, power cord connector, fuse holder spare fuse, power switch, RS-232C connector, external printer connector, strip platform and waste tray strip holder mount. Initial setup, loading printer paper. Next is to load the printer paper into the internal printer. First, pull up on the finger pull area to open the printer cover. Then place the paper roll in the printer box and feed the paper under the printer feed roller until the paper sensor threads the paper through the printer. Make sure that the glossy part is facing you. Pull the paper out, leaving 10 centimeters or four inches of extra paper above the printer roller. Then thread the excess paper through the printer paper slot in the printer cover and return the printer cover to its original closed position. Initial setup, turn on analyzer. To turn on the analyzer, connect the power cord to the analyzer power connector, then into a suitable power outlet. Then press the power switch located on the back panel to turn the analyzer on and initiate the automatic self-test. If you are using the barcode reader, make sure that you install the barcode reader before turning it on. If the automatic self-inspection passes, the initial screen below will be displayed, indicating that the analyzer is functioning properly. If the automatic self-inspection fails, a failed screen will be displayed indicating the source of the failure. Refer to Troubleshooting table in Section 10 to correct the failure. Analyzer Setup After powering on the analyzer, the initial screen is displayed from which strip testing operations are normally performed. A screensaver screen will show after 10 minutes of no activity to reduce the possibility of any permanent image on the screen. Press the number in the top right corner to show the canister code input screen for entering a new canister code. Press the top left corner for user login. We will discuss how to enter the canister code and user login in the later part of this video. To display the main menu screen below, press the paper icon. The main menu screen provides the analyzer setup options to customize the analyzer to operations at a particular testing site. Analyzer Setup, System Setup. To begin analyzer setup, press the system setup icon to display the system setup option screen used to configure the printer, barcode reader, QC test, and communication options. Press printer mode to cycle the printer mode through the internal and external settings. The selected mode will be highlighted. If internal is selected, all test printouts will print on the internal printer. If external is selected, all test printouts will print on the external printer if connected. Next is the barcode reader. Press barcode reader to highlight yes if the optional barcode reader is installed. 
Screens will be modified to accept barcoded sample IDs to be read with the optional barcode reader. If the barcode reader is not installed, press barcode reader to highlight no. Next is the baud rate. The baud rate is the communication speed for the RS-232C port used with the barcode reader or external computer. All devices connected to the RS-232C port must be configured for the same baud rate, otherwise they will not work. The default baud rate for the barcode reader is 9600. This is the default for the barcode reader that we provide. Press baud rate to cycle the highlighted baud rate through the options. Select the desired baud rate and leave it highlighted. Next option is the QC test. Press QC test and then press on to show the QC test screen to set, review, and perform a QC test before the next scheduled test time. Press QC lockout to turn QC lockout on or off. The selection will be highlighted. With QC lockout off, the screen will be shown. On the other hand, with QC lockout on, this screen will be shown. Select time to set the QC test time for every eight hours, daily, weekly, or monthly. After selecting time, select time setup and press the check mark to set the QC testing time. Press run QC test to perform a QC test before the next scheduled test time. When a QC test is run for the first time, the analyzer will show the error screen if QC values have not been set up. After three seconds, the screen will return to the QC test screen. To set the QC values, on the system setup menu, press Service to show the password entry screen. Enter password 7532691 for regular strips to show the QC solution values setup screen. Keep in mind that 13CE and 14C strips is code 7532690. Press Level to cycle the QC solution values between Level 1 and Level 2 settings. Press each of the Analyte QC solution values to change the settings to the proper value. The left column is for setting the lower QC value. The right column is for setting the upper QC value. Press the check mark to save the changes and exit the screen. Press the print icon to print the current values. The last option in the system setup is service. From the system setup menu, press service to show the password entry screen. Enter the required password to perform any service related operations. Press the C button to clear the last number entered. Press the Enter icon to accept the number entered and enter the service screens. Once all selections are complete, press the check mark to save the selections and return to the main menu screen. Press the cross mark to cancel all changes and return to the main menu screen. Analyzer Setup Test Number the next option in the main menu is the test number. From the menu page, press the test number icon to configure test numbers and operating mode. When configuration is complete, press check mark to accept the change and return to the main menu screen. Press the cross mark to return to the main menu screen without changing any parameters. Let's go through each option. The first option is the select mode Press Select Mode to cycle through the three available modes. Routine test is used for normal urine testing. The test number ranges from 00001 to 9999, always with a leading zero. It resets to 00001 every day automatically if Auto Reset 0001 is yes. STAT test is used for emergency urine testing. The test number ranges from 10,001 to 19,999, always with a leading 1. It resets to 10,000 
1 each day automatically if auto reset 0001 is yes. If the QC test has failed, the analyzer will automatically switch to stat test and cannot be changed. And QC test, which is used to test positive negative controls. The test number ranges from 20,001 to 29,999 and resets to 20,001 every day automatically if auto reset 0001 is yes. The next option is the enter new number. The current test number will be displayed next to enter new number. Press enter new number to display the numeric keypad to change the test number to a new sequence. You can enter up to four digits by touching the numeric pads on the touch screen. Press the C button to clear the last number entered. Press enter button to accept the number entered and return to the previous screen. Press auto reset 0001 to cycle to yes or no. If yes, the test number will reset to 0001, 10,001, or 20,001 for routine, stat, or QC modes when the power is switched off and then on again. If no, the test number is unaffected by power cycling. To clear all data, press Clear All Data to show a confirmation screen. Press the check mark to continue to delete all data. After deleting data, the test number will reset to 00001, 10001, or 20001, depending on the test mode. Press cross mark to return to the test number screen without deleting data. Analyzer setup, type of strip. From the main menu, press type of strip icon to change the strip type. The type of strip currently selected will be highlighted. Each strip type name defines the number of test parameters per strip. Make sure that the type of strip selected corresponds with the strip to be used. If not, it will be detected and an error message will be displayed. Select the type of strip which will be used for testing. Press the cross mark to return to the main menu screen without changing strip type. Once the proper strip type is selected, press check mark to enter the order of strip screen. If user login is enabled and operator ID is 11 through 20, the operator can only view settings. The order of strip screen is used to select the order in which parameters are displayed on the results screen and on results printouts. Next to each number, select the parameter desired. Blank means that there will be no parameter displayed for that number. For example, if LEU is selected for position 1, then LEU is the first parameter to appear on the results screen and on the printout. Once the proper order is selected, press check mark to accept the change and return to the main menu screen. Press cross mark to return to the main menu screen without changing the order of the parameters. Analyzer setup, units of measure. From the main menu, press the Units of Measure icon to select Units of Measure using the screen below. Press either Conventional or SI to select either of these units on the touch screen. The selection will be highlighted. Keep in mind that arbitrary results will be printed automatically regardless of the unit's setting. Press the check mark to accept the changes and return to the main menu or press cross mark to return to the main menu without any changes. If user login is enabled and operator ID is 11 through 20, the operator can only view settings. Analyzer setup, date, time. From the main menu, 
press the date time icon to change date or time settings. The date time screen will be shown. To change any of the date or time settings, press the appropriate display area, either the name or associated number. This will bring up the numeric keypad for entering the proper year, month, etc. with the corresponding range of numeric input. Proceed to enter the correct numbers for all date time entries. Analyzer Setup Language Press the language icon from the main menu to view the installed languages. The current setting will be highlighted. Press the text areas to select the proper language. When the desired language is highlighted, press check mark to accept the changes and return to the main menu, or press cross mark to return to the main menu without any changes. Analyzer Setup Database to review data from the processed strips, press Database under Database icon from the main menu to show the database screen. The last saved record will be shown. You can navigate through each option using the arrow icons. To search for and locate a specific test record, press the magnifying glass icon to show the numeric keypad. Enter the test ID by touching the numeric pads on the touch screen. Press the C icon to clear the last number entered. Press the Enter icon to accept the number entered and return to the database screen. If the record is not found, a display screen will briefly be shown indicating Record Not Found. Any displayed test record can be printed to the currently selected printer by pressing the printer icon or exporting to a connected computer or LIS by pressing the computer icon. To connect with an external computer or LIS, please refer to the Data Communications section of the manual. Press the exit icon to exit the database menu and return to the main menu. Analyzer Setup User Login Press the top left corner of the initial screen to show the administrator login screen. The operator ID is preset to 100. When entering the screen for the first time, leave the passcode blank and press the check mark. Press cross mark to return to the initial screen without enabling user login. The administrator screen is shown. Press an option to make changes. To enable user lockout functions, Select Admin Passcode Setup. A non-blank passcode must be entered to enable user login. Scan or enter a valid passcode and press check mark to accept and exit. User login will be enabled. After user login is enabled, select Operator Setup and press check mark. X indicates the ID is enabled. Circle indicates the ID is not enabled. Press the desired ID to enter the passcode screen. Scan or enter a new passcode. Press check mark to save the settings and exit. Press cross mark to cancel the settings and exit. Enter a blank passcode to disable the ID. After the user login is enabled, select log out to log out from the screen above. The normal login screen will be shown for a new operator login. See Section 5 for login procedures. Analyzer Operation Entering the Canister Code When a new canister of strips is required, the analyzer will request that a canister code is entered from the new canister. The code can be entered manually from the keypad or scanned with the barcode reader if installed. If the canister code is incorrect, the following screen will show. Check to make sure that the information such as strip brand and type of strip are the same as those on the analyzer setup. Also, please make sure that the date in the analyzer and for the strip expiration are correct. After three seconds, it will switch to the previous screen. If the canister code is correct, 
the analyzer will proceed to the initial screen. You can also press the digit on the top right corner of the initials screen to input the canister code when the digit on the top right is less than 500. Analyzer operation, operation testing. Now we are ready to do the testing. First, allow the strip, urine specimen, and or controls to reach room temperature at 15 to 30 degrees Celsius or 59 to 86 degrees Fahrenheit prior to testing. Remove the strips from the closed canister and use them as soon as possible. Close the canister tightly immediately after removing the strips. Using a new strip, completely immerse the reagent areas of the strip in fresh, well-mixed urine for about two seconds. Immediately remove the strip to avoid dissolving the reagents. While removing the strip from the urine, run the edge of the strip against the rim of the urine specimen container to remove excess urine. Hold the strip in a horizontal position and bring the edge of the strip into contact with an absorbent material, for instance, a paper towel, to avoid mixing chemicals from adjacent reagent areas and or soiling hands with urine. Place the strip with the reagent test pads facing up onto the strip platform as shown below. A green strip sensor LED over the platform will illuminate to show a new strip is sensed and will be transported and processed. The strip will be processed sequentially through several internal incubation locations, taking 60 seconds total from accepting a strip at the loading area to displaying, storing, and printing test results. Results will be automatically printed only if the internal printer is selected. Waste strips will be deposited into the waste tray automatically by the strip transport system. The analyzer performs an automatic calibration each time a test is run. Results will be displayed on the screen and recorded in memory automatically. Any abnormal results will be highlighted on the screen and flagged on the printout. After the first strip is transported into the analyzer and the strip sensor LED turns off, repeat the above process to test additional urine specimens. A new specimen can be added approximately every seven seconds. Analyzer operation, urine controls QC testing. Ensure the operating mode is set to QC. All test numbers in QC mode will begin with 2. This allows results to be searched for and found easily. Allow the strip and urine controls to reach room temperature at 15 to 30 degrees Celsius prior to testing. The urine control test procedures are the same as normal operation, no barcode reader, or normal operation barcode reader installed. The results obtained during the quality control test will be referenced by the analyzer with pre-programmed target values and report generated. If printer is set to internal, the result will be printed. If the QC test fails, please contact your local distributor for technical support. When QC lockout is turned on, the user will be notified when a QC test is required. The analyzer will run a level 1 QC test first. After testing, the analyzer will display the test results. If any parameter is out of range, it will be highlighted and marked with an asterisk. If printer is set to internal, the result will be printed. When both QC tests pass, the E at the end of the test number will not be shown. Maintenance. It is important to always keep the analyzer clean. Keep the external of the instrument free of dust at all times. If needed, the external may be cleaned using a damp cloth. Do not use any type of solvent, oil, grease, silicone spray, or lubrication on any part of the instrument. The strip platform and waste tray should be cleaned on a daily basis 
to remove sample deposits using the following procedure. On a monthly basis, depending on the number of strips processed, the strip transport mechanism should be inspected and sample deposits removed as necessary using the strip transport cleaning procedure. Turn off the power switch and unplug the analyzer from primary power. Remove the strip platform and waste tray by pulling the waste tray out of the right side of the analyzer as shown below. Refer to Section 8, Maintenance of the Manual, for detailed information. Troubleshooting. Some of the errors you might encounter include strip error, no display on screen, printer does not work, optical sensor failed, canister code error, QC test fail. Refer to Section 10, Troubleshooting, of the Manual for Solutions. This concludes the operational video for Mission U500 Urine Analyzer.